Moo Man, Moo Man. Yes, what is it, Snob Pin? You look just like Tarzan. Oh, no, please, someone! Thank you the wall! to make a fire with it. Ah, that'll do nicely. Uh. Hey! Oh, what are you doing? Don't pull away the straw, I can't get out! Then you'll just have to stay in there for another 500 years, won't you? I've been trapped again! Please, little my, your skateboard! I don't think you know what a skateboard is. You can't seriously expect me to fall for that. <laughs> I think we've come far enough, Papa. I can't swim! Help! No, no, don't do it! I'll give you anything! Bags of coins! Skateboards! Try this. Ah, you've got a telescope. Now, why didn't you let me have this before? It might have helped. Want to take a closer look? Yes, thank you. It's nice. Oh! If I close my eyes, I'll be able to see it. I'll never forget it. Thank you for showing it to me. It's nice. It's very beautiful indeed. Oh! Oh, 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 no. oh. Mama? Yes, Papa? Do you, do you think I should grow a beard? No, Papa. Look, guys, we gotta figure something out right, right now. Right here. Boomin' Mama, do you know where Moomin is? Um... He's probably in Snufkin's tent. Hey, look at the sky. The sun's up and there's Gracie. That's not great. Sounds very ordinary. That's what I wrote, Snufkin. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my mama! I found this near their big puddle. Hmm, I wonder if centipedes come from outer space. But this is the Earth, dear. He must have been very lonely here on his own. He scribbled messages over the walls like, No sight of a ship. It's Christmas. Another month gone. I must clean the lamp. And I need to talk to someone. I'm afraid that doesn't look quite right, Tiger. I thought I might just look like a thick rug. I'll just lie here like a beautiful porcelain ornament. They'll never know we're here, darling. Well, they'd never expect to find a rhino under there. Just what I thought. And she says money is a terrible burden. Oh, I wouldn't mind shouldering her burden. Maybe you'll inherit it, and then we could share the money and have a wonderful time together, eh? Oh... Why aren't they biting? I haven't had a proper catch for days. Getting too cold, is it? Mmm. Well... They forgot me and left me all on my own and I was frightened. Well, I can see why they wouldn't want a drippy thing like you around. You call yourself a ghost? I know, I'm sorry. Uh, I suppose you must have met the lighthouse keeper, have you? I hate it when people have that about her. I say, do you know the way to Moomin House, young man? Yes, you might say I do. Show me where it is, then. Over there. It's tall and blue. Just follow that stream and you can't miss it. Good. Would you be kind enough to take my suitcase? I'm sorry I can't. I'm too busy. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Think again, young man. But all I want to do is fish. Where are you going? To see that nice shiny man. But he'll arrest you! Hello, you were on that boat fishing, weren't you? <laughs> yes, I was. My name is Toft, Moom and Papa. Well, you and I should start dating. What? <gasps> Moom and Papa! What? Moom and Papa! Oh, all right. I suppose I have to tell someone or I'll burst. Secrets? I know. Let's put it all in a bank. <laughs> money likes being in a bank. My money would hate being in a bank. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> oh, no. Banks are so nice nowadays. <laughs> they are? Of course. They have flowers and shiny piggy banks and pretty paintings on the wall. You can do it with the cradle on, Sniff. And they'd have to put a public toilet outside your house. And tell her also how they'll build a public toilet in her yard. Oh, no, stop. It's too much. <laughs> oh, ooh, uh, I'm sorry, but could you try again, please? I know the more of Mama there is, the better, but you're getting very large. Very large, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to live in the torture chamber. There's bound to be treasure there. Oh, no, poor Sir Gaylord. Moomin Papa is a highly educated gentleman. 
But I am a witch with three diplomas. What a big lady! Is she dead? It's made of wood, Snork Maiden. I do apologize. I hope I didn't make you angry. Oh, of course not. Why should I be angry? <laughs> Just because people think I wear hats on my feet. Alicia, get me the next potion, now! Oh. Oh. All right, Grandmother. So, she can't do it if we look at her, huh? But she's hopelessly in love with uniforms, you know, and the inspector might lose his job. I'm sure they could be persuaded to let the inspector keep his uniform if somebody explained the situation to them. Everyone else I've met in Moomin Valley seems to be very scared of the vampire. Everyone except you, Moomin. You don't look so scared yourself, Snufkin. Maybe I don't look scared, but I feel very worried about it. There's no time to stand around here handing out compliments. The Moomins weren't quite sure what to do. Indeed, they didn't fancy explaining the mysterious extra vampire. So, taking little Dracula along with them, they stole off to the shore and sailed away for an extended trip, hoping that by the time they came back, people would have found something else to talk about.